Just my name's Steve. I'm Jessica. And today we're going to destroy some value by unboxing this new BBTS package that I got. Because finally something actually showed up that I ordered. <laughs> so I'm excited. I uh, also recently got these, which are Kyoto Tenjo Tenge figures. Uh, boom edition, if you will. I mainly just got these kind of on a whim. I actually started rewatching the anime because I realized Crunchyroll had it on there and I haven't actually got to see the entire series. Um, uh, because they used to play it on G4, if you guys remember that channel. And never got to see the entirety of it. <laughs> and, uh, like, we've, we've had a few of these upstairs already, the bone figures. So I thought it'd be kind of cool, but I really like the package and because the figures here... You guys can see aren't the most impressive looking statues. Like, granted, they're quite old, well, old-ish. Yeah, uh, as far as I don't remember, my first figure was one of these, and that was that demon chick. And yeah, and we got that thing. like yeah, it was like maybe two, first year, yeah, like two thousand five. So I think we went um, we went down to the city for one of our dates. Oh man, I'm trying to see a date, but I don't see one. I'll tell you, this guy, this has got to be around the same time frame. Usually there's something, but the thing is, there's not like the card on the bottom or anything. Yeah, yeah she also, oh, she, I guess she has a stand. There's one in the back there. <clears throat> Can't believe there's not a date. I just got like random copyright stuff anywhere, but we got her, we got Maya and Taya. <laughs> Uh, which, like, they still look pretty good. Like, that's what's kind of nice about the bone figures. Like, granted, they're fairly, like, out of date in terms of the way the style is for uh, making the statues look anime accurate. But they're still, like, standing out of the shelf. I wouldn't be very displeased with this. But I kind of like it as a total package. Actually, pretty much all of this is all just random girls <laughs> for this unboxing. Mm. I'm just now realizing... Fun thing, if I can get the right line cut, is this package, like one of the figures I kind of just bought on a whim. And the other one I really liked, but so as some of you guys know, I don't really do superhero figures very often, like comic book figures, but I do like me some Kyoto statues. So, I picked up the Poison Ivy that, and I do like uh, Batman, and especially like Batman villains and stuff. I always thought it was cool. And Poison Ivy is probably my favorite personally because redheads are the best. <laughs> but you got the Poison Ivy Returns, the Bisoju series. Looks pretty good. I'm actually pretty excited about that one. Uh, this one I got because I have the. Uh, oh, watch me call it the Streets of Rage figures on pre-order. So I kind of got this as just to see, because I've never actually had a Storm figure. So I saw this was actually on sale because this was a New York Comic Con exclusive from a couple years ago. But they had a sale on it, so I grabbed it. I do like Street Fighter. <laughs> pretty interested in it. Oh, God. <laughs> I thought it looked cool. Let's get this out of here. We'll, we'll uh, rip into these at least. Uh, speaking of stuff I kind of want to order, but I don't have, um, actually, we'll, we'll go with the Poison Ivy first. But I wouldn't, I don't really want to open. It is actually my Gunsmith Cat figures. I've, I'm actually paying, watching a lot. Kind of want to grab it. But definitely uh, wouldn't um, cut those things open. Because it's just like, they're too old. And again, they're not like, great for displaying. Because like, I'm not going to stick them next to this. <laughs> <laughs> well granted I guess it would make it look better though like even better than it already does oh, got some tape on the side here anyways you got any thoughts on Poison Ivy well, she always has been a pretty interesting character honestly but... yeah I don't know why it's like, I think it's kind of like um, my logic for like Biolanti I just like plant chicks are sweet Yeah. <laughs> she definitely falls into that category Kind of feels weird. You know, to be honest, I thought it was gonna be kind of bigger, especially like on uh, 
next to like the horror ones. I guess like in she's like the same size, but the way she's positioned. Yeah, she's just kind of makes it kinda. seem like that. Oh, what's weird is these are flexible. Oh god. <laughs> That's why this, like, I started touching I'm like, it feels kind of weird. This is actually, like, a softer material. Like, she's got a little bit of play to it. Oh, that's kind of nice. You don't have to quite worry about breaking these. That's good. Yeah, I was going to say, because she's definitely got all the fraying hair all the time. Like, she hasn't, the way the hair's flowing, she hasn't probably gotten the good side of the coronavirus. <laughs> missing those, uh, missing the... Hair salons, if you will. But detail pretty good. Guys, right. Also, my dog's making so much noise in the background. <laughs> yeah, material wise, like if it, you want to touch it, it almost feels like latexy. Huh. Right? Yeah. Like it's kind of got like a little bit of a rubber feel to it, which I guess kind of like it kind of mm. feels more planty. Like, this feels like typical anime statue here. But yeah, this just has like a weird feel to it. But I'm kind of digging it. Like, it, almost like skin. But yeah, no. It's definitely got all the right curves and all the right places. Got some little leaves like flaying out here. Detailed pretty good. I'd say like the, the branch here maybe could have been painted a little bit better. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's only like two tone. So I could have, they could have used maybe a little bit more attention to kind of get the pop. But then again, it is just essentially a stand for her. So, like, when you have this on your shelf, you're going to be just focusing on this. Yeah. Although I do like get the little mouth here. It's got the little, like, creature plant aspect to it. Mm -hmm. No, I'm digging this. I'm, I'm failing to see why this is way more money than some of the other Bushojo figures. Because like I said, I don't feel like she has quite the height next to one of them. Like, if we ever actually review this, if you guys would be interested, let me know in the comment section below. Well, like I said, certain ones just keep getting more expensive. Yeah, it's like some are cheap, and then it's like this one. <laughs> it's like, I can't remember which one out of uh, my two pre horror ones that are pre on pre-order. I can't remember which ones. Beetlejuice. I think Beetlejuice is more expensive than the freaking It one. I'm like, what the... I'm yeah, so the Pennywise nice. one looks sweet, but I think it's in the same vein, like, it's a redhead, so I think it just looks way nicer to me than it probably should. <laughs> but I'm super pumped I got this. Because yeah, I think, like, comic book character-wise, I don't know who else I would really want. Well, like I said, for, like, the Like, maybe a Power Girl? I always kind of like Power Girl. Well, I think that's that second Charles is for Yeah, but it was super expensive. Yeah. Um, I guess, yeah, they like want like said, 300 like, for it. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> well, like, what, maybe any of the Teen Titan chicks? Like, like yeah, Raven, like, yeah, like, like Raven, Raven and Starfire, and Starfire would be pretty good. I think they both got two, a second release. Yeah, they do. I, I would almost kind of like them if they were, uh, I guess, more akin to how they were in Teen Titans. Like, the, the the ones for these are a little bit more comic book inspired. Mm. So, anyways, uh, moving on to the Street Fighter one. This one I've been kind of like, I've always kind of kept my eye out for the Street Fighter figures. Because I, I always, back in the day, loved playing those fighting games. Like, to be honest, I still do. Yeah. But, and I kind of, like, I started buying the NECAs, but they didn't really, they were really hard to find back in... Back when they first were going to realize, oh, that's sweet. Get a little backdrop. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. It's also got a little card back here. This kind of shows you how to swap the stuff out. So the entire hair unhooks. Oh, she comes with hair accessories. <laughs> to be honest, like, like I said, I kind of just bought it. And was like. Because it was uh, marked down. But you get a little articulated stand. Looks like you get... Uh, oh, the one hand popped out. But a total of tw two on the body. So eight, nine hands. Two head sculpts with hair. And then some swirls and a beam. That 
That's weird. <laughs> so I'm assuming this, you probably got to hook it on the stand, the way the little pegs work. But this is, how do they show it on the back of the box? Oh, it goes around the beam. Oh, that's it. So the giant blue orb thing, this hooks around. That's terrifying. Yeah. So there's one there and one there. I wouldn't do it. Not like a second. And maybe I'll heat it. Yeah, how do you... Guess I gotta try to... Did you just break it? No. <laughs> that might not have separated. Definitely probably should eat that. Well, sad day. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I was like, all right, we'll just, like, spread it apart a little bit. Yeah, because, like, that doesn't unhook, right? It wasn't supposed to unhook. Granted, I got super glue. Like, it broke at the seam, thankfully. So, it's a... Pretty easy fix. It'll probably be like, I'll hook it back up and then glue it back in. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure I, I told don't. you not to mess with it. Yeah, see, it's supposed to like spread apart. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. <sighs> Anyways. An older figure. Well, like a couple years old. Anyways, let's get the sleeve oh off of this. <laughs> Oh, that's weird, too. This is super duper soft. On a high note, she actually has something underneath. So the way the photos looked, it didn't quite look like she might have something. So that's cool. Oh, this is squishy, too. That, hmm. I would, I would, I was, oh, this is also squishy. Why is she so squishy? <laughs> it's just like, man. Anyways, my wife's giving me the stare behind me. So this doesn't stay in super well. I will say that. At least with that one. So the hair's got a little bit of flexibility to it. This has some flexibility. Seems pretty plausible though. Which is nice. Well, I would hope so. God, it almost feels like everything's flexible. Like the hands feel like they got or rubber, but like this is normal plastic. This is a, such a weird figure. It's throwing me off. But. Got a lot of nice play to it. Got double joints. Feet are hard. Got articulated toes. Yeah, this is like, this is just. I wasn't sure what I was expecting. Like, the way the pictures look, because they have her, like, kicking, so it was, like, holding its position. I almost kind of wish this maybe it would have just been cloth because then it could kind of fall to the side. Yeah, it's not too bad. It, I wasn't quite expecting it. Like, I was expecting like the hard hair, but that flexes. She also has this face. Which I guess is more of a happy expression. And then this one's the yelling one. For doing attack moves. And then you can kind of swap out the hair bits too, depending on which one you want. I kind of like the one swaying off to the side. And it just pops off the body here. Oh, and took the joint. Alright, cool. <laughs> what are you? Putting it back on for now. It's gonna be one of those like I'd have to like heat it up or uh grab my soft pliers the to... Ah, get it back on. It's still throwing me off that she has squishy boobs. I wasn't quite expecting that one either. Just, just leave it alone. <laughs> just leave it alone. But, but her boobs are shifting up too high. And it's oh, making it hard to get it back in. Yeah, it's to break another piece off of her. <laughs> Anyways, um... <laughs> So this one's okay. <laughs> it's got some issues. <laughs> it's got me a little scared for the, uh... Because I was thinking about grabbing more of these, but it'll be the guys, because I kind of want the 2D ones. 
Or not the 2D, but like the ones from the 2D era. So it would have been like, um, like they have a Guile, there's a Ryu and such. Ryu Ken. I think what you get here, she's definitely, she's it's got the value, but I'd have to mess around with her more to give my full opinion on it. Um, this was a horrible, uh, this is a horrible design thing. <laughs> like this probably should have been able to separate and then go on it <laughs> like expecting like this to fully articulate because I'm, I'm i'm expecting that this is going to snap again as i'm trying to put this on so you know what? since we're here if i break it more it's not so bad anymore so This should be this side. That a hook in. Somehow I gotta get this to swirl. How does that? Maybe I'm doing that backwards. Okay, that makes more sense. So that hooks in, and then this would come around here. Oh, okay. This goes here and then that comes around here and then I gotta glue this back in like so yeah to be honest I don't even think this really looks all that good <laughs> to be fair like I'd have to get warping around more To be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to fix it. Because I'll probably... I wouldn't have this displayed with it anyways. Like For the most part, she's just going to stand. Probably strike and oppose. If anything, probably just doing a kick on the shelf anyways. So, neat figure. But, um... Yeah, this could have definitely had some more thought behind it. Uh, Poison Ivy is definitely the win here, I feel. <laughs> uh, everybody. But anyways, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. <laughs> <sighs> and help us to beat this guy just by hitting that like button, subscribe, and come reach today. We also have Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, like to keep up to date with Jane and donate. Greatly appreciate it. And, well, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>